how are you doing? How have you been? Hope you've been well. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel and for seeing this video. So I don't really know what anybody would want. Everybody wants me to describe how I paint things and how I go through the process. If you don't know who I am, my name is Crystal and my stage name, I guess, is Amino Design and I paint stuff and sell it online. I will take you through me painting something. But as per YouTube tradition, uh, I'm gonna do myself a little challenge. I'm only gonna use paints which are either one pound or less or are around 10 years old. So we're gonna see how that goes. Right, so the first ones we're gonna be using today are these essential acrylics. These uh, existed under my bed for about five years now. They're currently 17 pound on Amazon, so they're not actually that cheap. As a little review of them, I have never used these. Just to stay in. They're still in their little, like, their compartments, you can see. They're looking very gorgeous, very pristine. They also have a large range of colours, and I'm especially interested in these because these will be so nice for, like, skin colours, and I'm probably going to use them in the future. My second load of paints I'm going to be using are these Ocaldo Ready Mix paints, these ones. Um, the reason why I'm using them is because I got them on sale. Um, they were, I think, if I remember, only one pound each. And I got a bunch, and then I remember the first time I used them, they were terrible. They're literally like liquid, very transparent, very awful. But I want to use them anyway, I want to see if they'd work well. It's, I feel like if you mix them with these paints, maybe it'll go well. When I was like 13, this is what I used. It is an entire box, it is covered in dust. And it is, I, I mean, I don't know what I used this for. I must have used it from Skies or something. All these paints are dried out. Um, they're, some of them don't even work anymore. I'm gonna be interested if I can get paint out of this because it's dried out the nib. But if you feel it, sounds like the paints haven't quite dried out yet. So we're gonna see if I can make an amazing painting with all of this. I've drawn out the buildings, I went for an Asian style, and then I added this little girl at the top. Uh, I'm not going to draw all the birds that I'm going to be adding, just because I'm going to be painting over them, so there's no point. But this is what it looks like. So now, let's open up the paints. But with the paints, we're going to start with this one first, just because there's so many colours I'm really interested to use it. So I'm going to start with a Korean blue, primary cayenne, and a bit of purple, dark cobalt violet. And I'm gonna combine it with this old acrylic fine art quality white paint, which is almost run out. So first of all, I wanted to start with these nice blue hues. And as you can see immediately, the pigment on these is so lovely. The saturation is high and the overall look of the paints just blends so well with everything that I'm doing. They ended up working really well together with the white, which I ended up trying to, I guess, revive with some water. As you can see here, I'm showing the pigment. Look how bright it is. So what I'm trying to do here is blend out all the colours and then add some white. I'm keeping the tip of the paintbrush at the top of the clouds in order to blend out the imagery and make it look very realistic. Then I decide to add my nice pink from my colour pack collection. To be honest, it was so watery and useless, it did nothing. So I really just relied mainly on the other two paints. And they seemed to blend out quite well. My only issue with them was that they were quite dry. In some instances as well, they did chunk up a bit, which you can kind of see in this footage. However, adding water to this mix and then just spreading it as much as you can really just eliminates that issue altogether. And the paint ended up being as smooth as silk. Now, when it came to painting the girl that's flying through the sky, this is kind of where I messed up. I'm not used to painting without a reference when it comes to people's bodies, and I really thought. I could do it this time, but as you can see it just looks a bit floppy and weird, so I'm definitely going to have to re-edit that. So this is how far I've gotten so far. I mean, it's at the end of the day now, I'm going to go in and have some lunch. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, so it's day two, it is 150 degrees outside, and I'm going to try and finish this painting. So yeah, as you can see, it's almost completely done, we just need to add the details, and then obviously I need to paint out this entire area. Do not like it i think it's kind of disgusting and i'm gonna redo her and try and use a reference because i thought i could do body proportions but i clearly cannot okay so here comes the white paint goodbye terrible silhouette of a woman no one will miss you and i'm immediately going in with some nice light blue in order to blend it out and make it more sky like and then i'm using my uni ball pen and my white acrylic in order to highlight the clouds remember that all highlights on clouds happen at the top and the bottom areas are always much darker 
In order to emphasize this, I'm also going to be using my primary cayenne to add more depth to the clouds and really make it look like the sky is breaking. This whole perspective really gets added if you add stars in the dark bits, I don't know, it just looks very pretty. With the girl, I'm going back in with my Artiste Pastel alcohol markers and I'm highlighting her and drawing her in more detail. I'm also adding birds around her, making her look like she's either turning into birds or the birds have carried her. Just add that fancy element. And then I'm using my wire acrylic and my uni ball pen to add detail and I'm using the alcohol markers to really add depth to the buildings. I'm using a mix of medias just because I think that that adds the most detail and you can really get a more accurate look to the image. I'm just a mixed media person, I really do like when you have like acrylic on the bottom and then you add like pastel alcohol markers on the top and it just looks so good. You can really see that I'm highlighting each individual brick and rooftop and I'm going in detail on every single area. Oh and just as some little advice, make sure that when you are drawing something, the things at the front of the image need to be very detailed but in the back they shouldn't really be just as detailed because they're fading off into the distance. It just makes it look more realistic and it's a nice technique that I've learned recently. I also just wanted to add that I only used three colours at the beginning because they were the only paints that weren't damaged and they had been broken or unsealed and dried out and I am shockingly surprised and satisfied with the result of this. I think the complementary colours really added a nice look to it that makes it look like it's on the verge of twilight or dusk. So yeah, I'm very satisfied with how this came out. I think it has that perfect mix between being dreamlike but also being kind of realistic. I love the detail. I think it just looks amazing. And I'm very happy with this, even if other people aren't. <laughs> and I'm going to be very happy to put this in my studio. And so, there we go. It is finished. I'll show you the details of it. I really like the small things in it. I'm just unsure about the composition, like how the buildings are. I know I was working on basically no reference, but I feel like I could have made it go back a bit and made it more in depth. But I don't know. I think it looks good all together as an image, just... If you can leave like your thoughts about it in the comments, that'd be great. And also, since this is my first YouTube video, I thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Um, if you have anything that you can say that will help me, any critiques, that'd be amazing. I don't really know how to make YouTube videos about art. I kind of just do it and then film it, and then I just upload it. But I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, thank you. Go follow my other socials if you have the spare time. And I hope you have a really good day. Bye! Thank you so much for watching, if you do have any time please check out my store in the description and check out any of my other social medias, but thank you very much, hope you have a good day, bye!